Hey guys, and welcome back to Nameless. I left you guys in really a really weird cliffhanger of, um, okay or no, I won't go. So I had to kind of like back up and not read your comments for these videos for a while, just because I didn't want no spoilers for this one. So my last video that I posted, I did, I read a few, but I, whenever it said spoiler or my certain friend who loves to, uh, help me out a lot, I, I, I didn't read it through. So I don't know, but like I said, Fuck this guy. He's going out with other dates and expects me to be just like there for him. Uh-uh. I won't go. No, I won't. I have something to do. I replied coldly on purpose. Actually, there's nothing I have to do. It's not a big deal to hang out with him, but I didn't like him for some reason. It pisses me off that he came late last night dating another girl. He didn't even answer when I asked him yesterday. I had no desire to go somewhere with him. I felt twisted for no reason. Hell yeah, I do, but I know that I'm gonna have to go back and like act like a stupid bitch. Uh, because for, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get other endings, you know. Red said out loud proudly. But I don't think he's complimenting me for some reason. Huh? Because you think it's nothing. No, it's fine. You can spend those days with other girls. I calmly refused Yudi's suggestion. I want Tay. Tay's gonna be like fucking smiling, like with his big ass smile, because fucking. Mmm, I don't know. He looked at me silently for a while and soon shrugged his shoulders. I hope you don't expect those calls. I really hope you don't expect them. Yuri blew out a kiss. Oop, I missed. Oh my god, it landed on Tay. Oh goodness. He is always so insincere. Seeing him give up so easily, he must have been serious just now. He, I couldn't help but sigh to see him like that. Tay took away my finished teacup and asked, Oh. Limousine, tell Maomi I do so? Tay, you. I don't know about you, Tay. You give off this vibe. I don't know. Is it because of the rumor that I'm a maid? Oh. You and your weird ass fetishes, Tay. Weird ass fetishes. Tay looked really sorry. The person who really should really apologize was indifferently eating his breakfast over there. Oh my god, Red is an angel! What the hell? Red. Red stared at Yuri far away. After feeling the looks, Yuri tried to say something, but stopped. He held up his fork to toss around his salad. Red said in a low voice. Yuri must have heard what Red said, but he ignored it. He just kept on eating. This unusual scene bothered me. Master, then I think for now, Yono, that's the best option. Yono pulled at my clothes and asked. He looked anxious. I didn't want the rest to worry about worry because of me. I decided. I'll just take the limo as always. Yeah, it happened already. And besides, as Yuri says, I don't have to sneak around anymore. The bus or the limousine... The crowd's basically the same, so... Uh, and I feel like I'm running away if I back out now. Tay let out a long sigh. Okay, I <laughs> I am just. 
I'm sorry, sweetie Tay. Like, I could be totally wrong about you, and you might not even be a yandere, but you just... You give off that vibe, and now I'm just thinking, what are you really thinking about? Especially since, like, you know, maybe I'm looking too into this. Maybe I am, but your uniform looks a little bit darker than Red's. Red's uniform is, like, bright, which kind of, like, goes off his personality. He's very bright and outgoing, and then... Your uniform, you're supposed to be in the same grade. Why is yours a little bit darker? Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I don't know. Do you realize that the evil you're talking about is your fans? Completely ignorant of that, Red clenched his fist towards Yuri. Yuri finished the salad, just in time. <laughs> Yuri stood up from his seat. master. Oh, yo, no. You're like so like innocent. I, I don't want to stain you. Uh, thanks, Yono. I stroked his hair. Yono closed his eyes like a baby rab oh, the rabbit. That's June. Oh, fucking shit. <sighs> yeah, what's done is done. Don't they say, enjoying the pain you can't avoid? It won't matter whether people call me a maid or a housekeeper. I felt better seeing them all worry for me. <laughs> I feel like everything will be fine just by having the boys by my side. It was time to go to school again. The kids gathered in front of the gate, saw the limo, and jumped close one by one. It was pretty dangerous, but they were fearless. Thanks to that, it was pretty hard to park the car. <laughs> is that... is that soy? That sounded like soy. Like, what are you doing? Go with your milk. Outside the window, I saw the same scene I saw yesterday morning. The desperate girls seemed to have brought tools, too. I saw colorful banners with the boys' names written. Oh, God. Okay. It's never like this in real life. They're very energetic. The problem is that they are too fierce. I gazed out the window like Tay. Yuri, who didn't say anything while driving, asked. Um. I mean. I I don't know. Holy shit! What is with these freaking questions? I don't. Uh, save. I'm gonna do here because I don't know what what am I supposed to do? I guess fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. I'll get off first. I'll get off first. Uh, the boys looked worried. I nod. I just want to get everything over with. Don't they say it's better to be spanked first than later? The fuck? No, I don't know. I confidently got up from my seat. My legs shook a bit, but I made sure the boys didn't notice. I'm fine! They say discretion is the better part of valor. Don't worry. I took a deep breath and grabbed the handle. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared! I opened the door. I think Yuri called me, but I couldn't answer. Sure enough, all the gazes were directed at me. The gazes were very antagonistic. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck you guys. Uh, uh, you can't handle this. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go because I don't have to deal with the bat, like the crowds. Uh, fuck. I knew they really act like this, but it was still uncomfortable. I fought through all the gazes and headed forward. I only took a few steps when I heard people cheer behind me. Oh my god, that was pretty nice. I turned around and saw Tay and Red get off the car at the same time. Oh, Tay and Red came out. Both of them nodded at me amongst the crowd. Oh, they must have gotten off together for me. Thanks to them, all the gazes turned to them and not me. I suddenly thanked them for getting caught in the crowd for me and hurried to the classroom. Yes. Uh, I guess the classroom is the only place I can relax. I relax as I sat in my seat. 
I can't believe I have to go through this every morning. I seriously thought of whether I should take the bus. As soon as I sat down with Soy looked at me. Yes, I am here. You've waited for me, haven't you? So he waved and came towards me. Oh, hey. Uh, but why am I so tired? I want to go home already. God damn it, Undertaker, I can't be there for you. Undertaker, if you don't give me a route, how do you expect me to always visit you? Give me a route with you and I'll visit you all as many times as you want. Mr. Undertaker, again? Why? Thank you, I'm okay. Ugh, I'm going to resent you forever for making me the health commissioner. <laughs> so I brought up the past. Ah, uh, the infirmary from this morning. Today's not my day. So like, are you guys gonna do some shippy stuff? Because you say strawberry milk, soy milk. I mean, it's basically the same. So are you guys gonna do stuff? Like... Are you guys like gonna do you and soy? It's you mean you and Shinbi? Your soy milk? It's gonna be good. You know what, Shinbi, soy? If you guys can do a scene together, like I wanna be like, like in each other's arms and just like I love you and I love you too. I, 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 I mean, I, I, that's that's it. I I'm happy. <laughs> that's so nice of you, huh? But where's Shinbi? Don't you have to get that for Shinbi? Ah, Shinbi is today's appointment. Morning, there's a training in the morning. At the house? You guys live together? Oh, okay. She must be mo busy modeling and taking classes. I know, I'm jealous. Alright, I should get going. Then I'll be back. If I'm late, tell the teacher for me. Okay. Then I'll be back. If I'm late, tell the teacher for me. Okay. Then I'll be back. If I'm late, tell the teacher for me. <laughs> Mr. Undertaker's head, just the thought of it scares me. Oh shit, she's running! She's Excuse me, Mr. Undertaker, I heard you asked for me. Hello, Pietrisi. I came as soon as I got to the classroom. Well, I was caught up by some things this morning. <laughs> Hello, Beatrice. I don't know how many times I said it. No wonder she got a cold. She only has bones. Wait, am I thinking right? Thinking right now? I shook my head and let out a sigh. I think I'm getting weir weirder. Alright. I closed the door right away. But why did you call me? Why did the science teacher give these to you? Anyways, is this all? Then I'll be going. Uh, sure. Well, why? No, no, I'll go. He didn't say anything serious, but since it was Mr. Undertaker, I felt nervous. But I decided to listen to him like a lamb. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Um. Okay. Huh? Uh, I clearly held out my hands. Huh? I felt something cold in my hands. I opened my hands and saw something sparkling. This is a hairpin? What? Uh, did he just give me a, a hair? 얼른 나가, 얼른. Mr. Undertaker pushed my back. Wait, wait Mr. Mr. Undertaker, what is this? But who is it for? Holy shit. I mean, I know it's a hairpin, but why are you giving this to me? Who? <sighs> Who is this? Mr. Undertaker pointed at the hairpin in my hand. 
네 번째 갈비뼈를 한번 꺼내보고 싶다는 생각이 드는 그 선생님을 알고 있는 I... Mm. I, that's so specific. Um, I totally know who you're talking about. Yeah, fourth, uh, fourth rib bone, ah, uh, the left one, right? Yeah, yeah. I totally know. I don't know. What? 담당은 음악이야. Yuri. Uh, that doesn't mean Mr. Yuri. 그래, 그 선생님에게 부탁받았어. 내가 널 불러서 프린트물을 전달할 걸 어떻게 알았는지는 모르겠지만 말이야. 자기가 직접 전해주고 싶지만 하루 종일 바쁘다면 나에게 대신 부탁했지. 귀찮아서 처음엔 거절했지만 베아트리체 전형 스카프를 함께 받는 바람에 어쩔 수 없이 부탁을 거절할 수가 없었다. 이제 됐지? 더 이상 방해 말고 어서 나가. What? Why did Yuri? I must mean Mr. Yuri suddenly give this pear pen. 시끄러워. 나도 몰라. 더는 묻지 말고 나가. Uh, Mr. Undertaker, stop! Stop pushing me! Oh, that's cute. In the end, Mr. Undertaker pushed me out of the infirmary. I stood in the hallway and just looked at the hairpin. Why did he suddenly give this to me? Can I put it on? I remember Yuri quietly eating his breakfast this morning. I didn't even say bye to him properly. But really, why a hairpin of all of a sudden? Suddenly, I remember what he told me before. 앞머리가 이렇게 늘 내려와 있으니까 예쁜 얼굴이 안 보이는 거야. Was he thinking about that? Mm. As I spaced out in the middle of the hallway, kids passing by stared at me. Oops, if I stay like this, they'll call me something worse than a maid. I should at least stop that from happening. I hurried to the classroom. After boring math class came sweet recess. You get fucking recess? What the fuck is that shit? I'm guessing it's like lunchtime or something. Or free period. I got ready for the next class after Soy went out to get strawberry milk. Let's see. I think I have to move classrooms next class. Oh, it's music. I remember the hairpin Yuri gave me. It's been bothering me the whole day. I felt iffy having it, not knowing the motive behind it. And he could have just... Given it to himself. Why did he give it to Mr. Undertaker? Niga, baby. Oh, oh the fucking me? shit, piece of shit. Oh my fucking god. I was spacing out and thinking about this, and that's when someone tapped me. Huh? Me? I gathered my senses and turned around. Everyone already went out. I was the only one in the classroom. And three girls were standing around me. I've never seen them before. Who are they? I was confused at seeing the strange faces when one of them stared, started talking. Um, okay. I think they're in the same grade, seeing their name tags, but what's up? Do you have something you want to say to me? The fuck is your problem? Uh-huh. The girl scanned me from head to toe. I could tell they were intentionally trying to pick me apart. They, they soon whispered to them smells themselves and smirked. Oh, I feel bad. Soy, where the fuck are you when I need you? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they came to talk to me first, but they just turned away without explaining anything. Feeling safe? I don't know what they were talking about, but I didn't feel good about it. No, actually, I felt really bad. What was that just now? So I came and holding a strawberry milk. Oh, soy. Um, I think they said something weird. I told Soy what those girls said. I was about them feeling safe after seeing me. After Soy heard that, her expression hardened. And she glared towards the direction the girls disappeared. Those bitches I know! What were they doing? Competition? That's ridiculous! 뭐? 
너무 걱정할 거 없어 친구 이런 일은 어차피 시간이 지나야 해결되는 거니까 오케이 그러다가 만약에 시간이 지나도 해결이 안 되면 나처럼 상냥하고 정중하게 <웃음> so 화장실로 you're... 불러내서 손으로 대화하는 방법도 있고 말이야 So you're amazing just telling you that So he winked So he had a natural talent of saying scary things with a sweet face I do too <laughs> It was scary, but I was glad since she seemed to worry about me. But anyways, isn't that how people justify violence? Yeah, yeah. I told you not to call me that. So you're amazing. So you laughed out loud. I felt much better after seeing So you laugh it off. If it weren't for So, I wouldn't have been able to tell anyone. No matter how much I hate it, as a student, I have to follow the timetable. I headed to the music room with heavy steps. I felt like I had a 10-ton iron chain tied to my legs. Even in my seat, I felt like I was sitting on a bed of thorns the whole time. As Yudi entered the music room, girls here and there gasped. Yudi was wearing an elegant black suit. The suit fits his lean arms and legs perfectly. It really was an awe-inspiring look. I'm getting kind of like my heart's speeding pretty fast right now. What the hell? Like, I'm gonna go doki doki, I feel like. He is really handsome. The problem that he's black on the inside. The hairpin Yudi gave me was in my uniform jacket. I cautiously put the hand in my pocket and fidgeted with the hairpin. Why in the world did he give me this? Is this another part of those moves he makes on girls all the time? <coughs> Is this going to be censored by like horses again? That's, that'd be interesting. Yuri lightly tapped on the blackboard. I felt like I caught his eyes when I raised my hand, my head. At that mo moment, Yuri's slip pinched a bit for some reason. I think he wants to say something. But Yuri soon turned his head to the blackboard so I couldn't see his face. Hmm? Did I see it wrong? Yuri cleared his throat and started class. Music is a powerful and powerful way of making people feel powerful. When you listen to music, the people's heart is deep and wide. Yuri was serious today for some reason. 그리고 어느 순간 그 음악에 빠져 사람들은 자신도 모르게 멜로디에 매료되어 스스로에게 체면을 걸게 되는 법. 위풍당당 행진곡을 들으면 이 세상에서 가장 용감한 군인이 세레나데를 들으면 이 세상에서 가장 달콤한 사랑에 빠진 듯한 느낌이 들지. 그렇기 때문에 난 음악으로 사람의 마음을 지배할 수 있다고 믿고 있다. Yuri continued with a serious face. He was actually acting like a teacher this time. It was so unfamiliar and odd that I ended up focusing during the whole class. 음악의 매력은 이뿐만이 아니야. 사람에게 부족한 감성을 채워주는 것에는 음악만 한 것이 없지. Seriously, this is, this is how you're gonna talk now? 하지만 음악에 있어 한 가지 단점은 바로 직접 체험해야만 알수 있다는 거야. 교과서에 나온 글만 가지고는 음악의 진정한 매력을 알수 없어. 그런 의미로 이번 학력 평가는. 필기 시험과 함께 체험형 실습을 병행하도록 하겠다. 연주회, 콘서트, 아무 장르라도 좋아. 음악 공연을 보고 와서 티켓을 제출하는 사람에게는 중간고사 때 특별히 가산점을 주도록 하지. The kid stirs. The kid stir. An assignment where you had to hand in a ticket? The last music teacher made us sing or write music sheets. This was a bit fresh. Other students looked interested too. 이건 너희뿐만 아니라 전학년 공통사항이다. 체험을 통해 견문을 넓히자는 취지의 프로그램이지. 이미 교장 선생님께도 허락을 맡아놨다. 이에 관해 질문이 있다면 나에게 따로 면담을 신청하도록. 물론 사랑스러운 여자아이와의 면담은 언제든지. 환영한다. Even your pickup line is kind of like flat. Yuri winked towards the girls. The girls cheered. I feel like I want to throw something. Should I just report him or should I just get lands? Where's Lance? Let me check my watch. Oh, mm, he should conveniently be here soon. No, he's, he's not. I thought he was being a serious teacher for once. 
자, 그러면 오늘의 본격적인 수업을 시작하겠다. 자, 아, 이란. 오늘 소개할 악보와 자료들을 안 가져왔군. 반장. 네? <웃음> Soy. At Yuri's words, Soy raised her hand and stood up in a flash. Her eyes sparkled. 교무실에 신부름 좀 갖다 줄래? 아, 라고 부탁하고 싶지만 귀여운 여자아이가 들기에는 좀 많은데. Can I do it? At Yuri's words, Soy sat down looking disappointed. Yuri stroked his chin as if contemplating and looked around the class to pick someone to run the errand. Oh, I'll do it. Boo. I was going Oh, my fucking God. Are you, are you fucking serious? A boy raised his hand and complained. Suddenly the whole class looked at me. I couldn't do anything and just sat there breaking out in a cold sweat. Oh my fucking god. The girl stirred at what Yuri said. I'll fucking do it. God damn it. 글쎄, 그 아이는 심부름꾼이 아니라니까. 그런 식으로 말하는 건 삼가해 줬으면 하는데. 아니라고? 그럼 뭐예요? Yuri looked annoyed. I'd seen him feel uncomfortable. The girl started to stir. Oh no, it says more. The girls will be misunderstood again. I had to raise my hand. Mr. Yuri, I'll do it. I've been exercising a lot, so I can carry heavy things. Ha 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 ha. I, as I raised my hand and stood up, everyone stared at me. Now everything will be fine if I just go and... No, you're no sweetie. No, no, you're no sweet, precious baby. No. <laughs> Yono, who was sitting still, suddenly stood up. I tried to tell him with my eyes that it's fine, but Yono couldn't see. Thanks to that, the girl started to glare more. Oh, you know, ruin everything. Leas is in the room with me. He couldn't throw shit. I forgot Leas is in the classroom with me. Damn it. Leas, he was sitting. Look, okay, Leas, look. I understand that when you go through someone's route, you the person starts hating me. What the fuck are you doing with, okay? Like, I still got feelings. What the hell? That's not... No wonder he's pissed. He has to go run errands for Yuri all of a sudden. Uh, he's probably starts nagging us for involving him in this. The kids started booing again. I should decide quickly if I just... I'm gonna quick save it. I don't know, actually. I don't know what she means by Yono. I'm asking. I don't know what that means, actually. What does that mean? Yono, I'm asking. I'll go. I, I guess. No, yeah. I took a step forward. Mr. Yuri, I'll just go ahead. It's fine. I've moved skeleton models for Mr. Undertaker anyways. Then I'll be back. I opened the classroom door and hurried out the hallway. I no longer felt the stairs, only at the closed door. <sighs> I let out a huge sigh as soon as I got out of his classroom. Is it because of the girls who came to me earlier? Uh, I suddenly, I'm suddenly really tired. I feel troubled. I feel upset about being called a maid and getting embarrassed in front of everyone. But what's more upsetting is that I can't explain everything truthfully. And I hate the boys are worrying with me too. Uh, the more I think about it, the more gloomy I feel. Ah, uh, this won't do. I walked energetically on purpose. Thinking about it only will make me sad. Let's just finish getting those prints. The sound of my steps rang through the silent hallway. A few moments later. Ah, uh, this is heavier than I thought. As Yuri said, the music sheets were too heavy for a girl to carry alone. I could raise my back out of all the papers. I couldn't raise my back. <laughs> so many stairs left to climb. 
another set of stairs appeared in front of my eyes. Oh well. The more knows about to step on the stairs again. Hey. Huh? I raised my head and found Tay coming down from the stairs. Tay, ah! No. When I was raising my head to look at Tay, I lost my balance. As I fell down, all the music sheets I was holding onto fluttered into the air. The stairs in the hallway were covered with papers. Uh, oh no, what am I going to do? I carefully stacked the paper left in my hands onto the side. As I crouched down on the floor and started gathering the scattered music sheets. Uh, At that moment, Tay hurried down the stairs and sat down next to me. And he stopped my hand. Huh? No, I can do it. Tay didn't say another word and calmly started gathering out the paper. I tried to help, but Tay stopped me every time. I felt like I was troubling him. I felt bad for Tay. Tay was about to hand me the music sheets, but stopped. They weren't that heavy, it's fine. Actually, they were heavy, but I pretended to be fine in front of Tay. But Tay just suddenly looked at the sheets. Tay asked me sharply like he did this morning. I couldn't say no and just stayed quiet. Tay's face hardened. I feel like I ratted him out. Well, he didn't make me. I mean, the situation was a bit... <laughs> but it's really nothing. I'm fine. But I have to go now. I'll be in trouble if I'm late. Give it here. Thanks for helping. Tay didn't hand me the sheets and just held on to them. I felt flustered and waved my hands. No, 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 it's fine. Just give it here. Weren't you going somewhere? God damn it. I'm gonna, like, get fucking screwed here. All I need is, like, red to barge in and be like, Hey! <laughs> uh, if Tay takes these to the music room for me... I felt nervous at the thought. As I stood there with a gloomy face, Tay looked at me curiously. No, why are you know what people call me these days? If they see you helping me, they'll definitely say the maid's shoving around the hot five. Tay's face fell too. He looked like he felt sorry, but I didn't feel good to see it. Tay's always trying to help me. But I wanted to get out of the situation and reached hands toward Tay. Thanks for helping anyways. Now give me those sheets. I'll go by myself from here. <sighs> Sorry. Tay let out a sigh. Oh, it's Lance. Huh? <laughs> I swear to God, the way that he moved. Okay. Now Lance approached us from where Tay was standing before. Lance. Lance was frowning like before. Oh, Lance. It looked like he was in a bad mood. What are you doing here? Weren't you in class? Lance is supposed to be in class in the music room. On my question, Lance walked towards us and let out a sigh. Matsumida, Oh, your name must have taught the class weird things without the sheets. I guess the class went rogue since I didn't return soon. Lance stood there in front of us, obviously looking very bothered. Since Lance got a permission to help me, it might be okay for him to carry it. Mm, and thanks. Then why did you think I came here? Hey, come here. Oh uh, shit, Tay's not gonna like that. Tay handed the sheets to Lance. Lance. Hmm. Lance nodded. 그래. Tay looked at me after talking. He looked like he had a lot to say, but stopped. He said bye to me and Lance. Okay, 
Okay, thanks. As I thanked him, Tay gave me a soft smile. Ah, uh, thank God. I felt better to see him give me his usual smile. I smiled as he disappeared and waved my hand. Lance helped me carry the sheets to the music room, and the class continued. 이 음악은 1956년도에 작곡된 음악이지만 그 당시엔 오히려 주목을 받지 못했지. Yuri continued the class seriously. Thanks to a serious attitude, the students listened carefully. They soon stopped paying attention to me. But they call me maid for some time now. I listened to the class feeling gloomy. I couldn't really focus on the lecture. Even after the class, Yuri didn't say anything much. Besides, other kids were still focusing on me. So I had to stop myself from asking about the hairpin. I should ask him when I get home. Today's dinner is ramen. I do like freshly made rice, but you just need to eat hot spicy ramen noodles on some days. I know that feeling. Yeah. I used to only eat ramen for a while when Grandpa died. I got him so used to ye Yono's and Tay's and Yono's cooking that eating ramen felt so new. Does it taste good? I asked nervously. I never cooked ramen for a lot of people before, so I was worried if I put too much water. Oh man, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I tried my best. Really, thank God. He knows, he knows my feels. I'm glad. Yono and Red empty their bowls quickly. You know, you know, for someone who didn't really know what he wanted in your route, you're fucking picky in this route. No offense. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Red, you are amazing. Let me just say that. This is already going to 40 minutes. I just couldn't stop playing. Lance, stop messing with Red. I can, I'm gonna start shipping you guys. <laughs> Starting again? The ramen's getting cold. Hurry and eat. Lance and Red stopped bickering as what I said. While everyone sat and ate together, I noticed an empty seat. I looked at the empty seat. Yonos noticed my gaze and talked to me. He always is. Why are we surprised? I don't know. He didn't say anything. <laughs> Probably. No, no, don't worry. Yonos stopped eating and flinched. Oh, red. You know, sometimes I think the reason that you really want to be a hero is that you want everyone to like you. Because you were discontinued. Red said seriously. Girls do act like that around Yuri. But that's not black magic, Red. Besides, girls act like that around you too. Thank you, Tay. You're wearing a corset. I like it. <laughs> you know, I don't think you like going to school anymore, do you? Come to think of it, he did seem a bit, a bit weak this morning. He also looked, he looked like he had something to say. Did he leave the music sheets because he was tired, as Yono said? Ah, 악보하니까 생각이 났는데요. 그걸 마스터가 옮기지 않게 돼서 다행이에요. Huh? Oh yeah, thanks. Bol umgyo? Bugongo? Kugol Hiro in Helponetago? Ah, Ochoda Boni. Yidero is so 
괜찮습니까? Are you asking me? Lance calmly asked me. Oh, sweetie, you do care. His blue eyes sank as he looked at me. What? 당신의 별명에 대해 말입니다. There's really nothing I can do about it. 일이 커지는 게 싫다면 어느 정도 받아주는 것도 좋지만 지나치다 싶을 때는 피하는 방법도 있을 겁니다. 오늘도 그래요. 굳이 나서서 당신이 메이드라는 걸 시인할 필요는 없었다고 생각하는데요. 굳은 일을 도맡아서 하는 건 정말 메이드가 하는 일입니다. I lost words at what Lance said. I was upset about it already, but Lance pricked the exact spot. 굳은 일? 그게 무슨 말이야? Uh, I let out a small sigh. I didn't want to think about it. 히로인, 무슨 일이 있었던 거야? 총사령관, 히로인이 곤경에 처한 것 같은데 우리가 출동하지 않아도 돼? Tate didn't say anything and just looked at me. He then lowered his head. And he started to blame himself. No, Tate, I mean, I know I was yelling at you before about how you fuck you and... But no, I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. No, don't. It's fine. Oh no, it didn't step up worse than what have happened. I said sincerely. Tay raised his head a bit. He still seemed to feel bad. If Tay hadn't made the excuse, I really would have been in a big trouble. Honestly, if I think about it, this is all Yudi's fault for making me suddenly get out of the car. Thanks for worrying, but I'm really fine. Honestly, it's a lie to say I feel 100% fine. But I understand why girls are jealous. I felt better to see everyone worry for me. And since I have Soy and Shinbi to take my sides as well, I'm fine. Besides, I have more things that make me happy than little things that bother me. I now have a family with whom I can ride the limo and go to school comfortably. And I get to eat dinner with them like this when I come home. So I can handle all that. There are definitely more people who are against me now, but nothing's really uncomfortable. You guys don't have to be so sensitive about it. I will. Okay? Okay. I nod again. And I focus on eating. Ramen noodles got cold already. Everyone's worrying about me. Ramen is cold, but my heart is warm. Yuri seems to be sorry too, so let's just let this go. I remember the hairpin I got from Yuri and thought. The night got late. I open the diary. I write in every day. Every time I fill a page, I feel proud. Grandpa always said that a diary is a place where you store your memories. And he also said that those memories become what truly valued in life. Oh, I'm on a link. Let's see, where's my new pen? Uh, something fell on my bag. I picked up the light object. It was a hairpin Mr. Undertaker gave me. To be exact, it was the hairpin Mr. Undertaker was asked to give me. I, I would have been so happy if it was because of him. Like, Undertaker was like, here, take it. I gave it. I thought of you. <laughs> I would have been happier. The crystals on the pin sparkled. Mm. I ended up not asking Yuri about it. So I don't know why he gave this to me. Should I try it on? Yes. I looked at the mirror and put the pin on my hair. It sparkled in my hair. Come to oh look at you, <laughs> so cute. Come to think of it, I didn't even say things. I can't wear things like that. They don't look pretty on me. I heard a knock at the door. Huh? Who is this lady? Come in. The door opened. No, it was Yuri. When did he get home? Oh, Yuri, come in. She totally forgot she has the pin in her hair. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah, I write every day, so I, so I get nervous and can't sleep if I don't. But did you just get here? Mm. Yuri was late today, as always. But his hair looked wet. 
I don't think it's raining. Did he take a shower? Yuri touched his hair, noticing my gaze. I nagged him just as he always did to me. You told me to dry my hair properly and now your hair's all wet. I don't even want to know what you do. Yuri flipped up his hair. You had to sweat and you took a shower outside? I came back to my senses as the word shower. Sweat, uh, did he go to the gym? No, he didn't go to the gym. Or... Oh. I'm not gonna... Nope. What do you mean? I was just wondering what you were doing. God damn it. Yuri slowly approached me. He had a buttery smile like he always has. What? This... Yuri held out his hand. Uh-huh. I thought he was about to do something weird. Again. He, his hand gently touched my hair. Oh! Yuri smiled at the sparkling hairpin in my hair. Thanks. I'm gonna take that compliment. Don't worry. Before I knew it, Yuri's face was right in front of mine. This was too close. Oh, uh, um... I opened my mouth, but my voice was trembling. It was a bit surprised at my, my own voice, but continued as if it's nothing. Thanks for the hairpin. I was surprised. I was a bit embarrassed since I never wore much, much accessories. My face turned red. My f I can't read. <laughs> Why can't I read? My face turned red as I backed away a bit. But why did you suddenly give me this? I don't know why my mouse. Why it? I didn't need anything. I didn't need anything. T. Oh, I think he's talking about Secret Garden. I never expected this. I didn't think he'd give me something in return. You can't. Yeah. I thought he always just talked about it. Did he always care like this? 사실 내 손으로 직접 주고 싶어서 미리 사뒀는데. Yuri sounded a bit upset. Oh, come to think of it, he asked me out, but I refused. I felt a bit sorry seeing Yuri give me something in return like this. While I was thinking, Yuri opened his mouth. He sounded a bit careful. So... It's fine. Yuri said with serious eyes. He was talking about that again. I've already discussed it so much with the other boys. I didn't want to be mentioned again. I don't really want to talk about that anymore. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it again here. Another cliffhanger. Why not? Because I don't know. I kind of want to say... Uh, there we go. You see here, I kind of want to say... Um, so thanks for watching. I'm sorry that this video came out pretty late. I spent most of yesterday trying to record... Or most of today. Trying to record Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. I hope you enjoy this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Jeanne.